All right guys, Hayes Inc here. Welcome back to the channel for another Street Fighter Duel video. We're continuing on, it's new content day. Like I said in the previous video, obviously that means we've got trials. And for me, that means trial guide videos. Whether these ones see as many views as previous ones, I do not know because the units are very good, okay? Um, we are going to have dedicated videos talking about each of these two units, okay? Um, but unlike a lot of trials in the past, both of these units do extremely well within their own trial realms, okay? So, <clears throat> what I found doing this is I've not looked over their kits yet, okay? But Adon's C3 is extremely powerful, okay? It's it, the, the amount of burn it does is actually crazy. Um, you will notice it, you will see it yourself during this trial video, and maybe even from playing yourself, you will have noticed it, but his output on burn on his C3 is actually tremendous. His C2 I'm not really a fan of, um, got to be honest, not really much of a fan of it at all, but when it comes to his C3, again, insane burn damage on it. I'd need to like really look at numbers and stuff like that to see how it compares to um, Dalsim's C3. The thing about Dalsim is, he ramps up though, so I doubt very much it even comes close to Dalsim's C3, but hey, I, I, I can't actually say for sure because you can see there the amount of burn stacks some units have already got was insane, like we were up at 7 on one rotation. That's crazy, that's absolutely crazy. Um, so, you can see here we're just quickly motoring through, no issues at all, getting past that first stage, <clears throat> and then we are ultimately going to move on to Stage number two now, um, I'm doing these at two speed, these runs now, because people say that I sometimes go a bit quick, so do it at two speed. Gives people plenty of time to see what's going on and not tell me I'm going too quick. The overriding theme for all of these stages was essentially make sure I was using units that were going to give me first turn. That was my driving force here always make sure, if possible, I can get units that are going to give me first turn. Uh, because of B-Sang on this other team, I don't think it's possible, but Yun, Yun or Yang, Yun, was the best shot. I put um, Blanca on here because Blanca can interrupt, just standard. It's like his counter attack, he can interrupt on it. So, with the fact that I wasn't going to be actually using Dalsim there to do any form of damage, I thought it's better off having Blanca on here. That way, we might get an interrupt here or there, which would maybe help us clear the stage. So, again, you'll see with this next move, big damage there, and that fire, kind of carpet, raging fire carpet that he laid down, really took a lot of HP off of the enemy, which helps these two guys finish off the battle. So that's two out of three down. And next up, we're gonna move on to obviously the third battle and we'll see how we got on there. So moving on. So for this one, <coughs> pardon me. I went slightly different on this one, um, mainly because you know what? I've not used them that often. I decided to use El Fuerte. The reason that I've got Poison on the actual lineup, but not doing any attacks, um, is actually quite straightforward. Poison, when she is built, I think it's when she's got her cars. I think, I think it's when she's got her cars. Um, she will cast her buff just as a standard move. Okay, after, I think it's after like 20 seconds or something like that, when she does that normal move, it will start to apply the buff as if she's applied her C1. So. Essentially, if the fight goes on long enough, you're getting use of her C1 for free, if that makes sense. So that's why she's on the actual lineup and not sitting in the support slot, um, because the tag slot, sorry, because she wasn't actually actively involved in the combo. So to me, it made more sense. And with Adon in this, the key was making sure he got at least one of his C3s off, because it massively drained the enemy's um, HP pool, which ultimately helped us clear the stage pretty swiftly. So yeah, I was quite happy with the outcome on that one. Um, I think Adon actually looks surprisingly good in this trial, if I'm being completely honest with you. So, what's this fight number four? 
I think it's fight number four. I don't think anything's been too tricky so far. Um, again, trying to prioritise speed, trying to make sure we are um, getting the most out of things. Now, I'll, I'll tell you now, during this battle, I press Adon's face um, because that combo wasn't getting enough damage, to be completely honest. I think using that team would be absolutely fine, but I would probably use Adon healing off Elena, use Chun as C2, and then use Adon as C3. You're probably going to clear it quicker than this, because after a couple of turns here, I realised that this is going to end up as a stalemate, and I decided to click Adon's face and use whatever the auto combo was that was set at that point. Um, it finishes the battle, no problem at all, but it could have been a lot faster if I had um, just used the Adon combo straight off the bat. It would have done more damage, it would have cleared the units faster, and ultimately it's the way I think you should go on this one to be honest. So I would actually say use Adon into Elena, into Chun, into Adon again. It'll get you through that one a lot faster without any issues. Just do the exact same lineup, just change the combo to that, okay? So, moving on. We're on to fight number five now. And things have gone pretty well, pretty well indeed. So for this one, I actually knew that I was going to use Fei Long um, because Fei Long has fire vulnerability, um, which essentially means you're going to do more fire damage. Hey, funny that. Um, and with the amount of fire damage that Adon puts out, I knew that it was a good shout. And yeah, totally a good shout. This one absolutely goes down a storm, works very well. Again, I think Adon does himself a lot of favours within this trial. I think he looks pretty good. To be honest, I think AOE units have got a slight advantage in these trials. I think they do tend to look pretty good. Now, he is dead there, but don't worry about that. With his flame carpet he laid down, with the amount of damage that he done, he made the rest of this battle the win. I put this down to Adon, I really do. Um, because again, he put out so much damage with that one C3 that he did. It was enough for us to ensure that we actually went on to finish the battle. So, get through this one here. A little bit of attrition, a little bit of attrition, but you know, we were never really in any danger. One on one with Blanca. Whittling him down. The only danger we were in here is technically Blanca could have. Um, he could have interrupted. And at that point, you would have been at the mercy of RNG and you would have had to have started again. So, that could have happened. But. Absolutely fine. Moving on to the final battle. And you can see Adon, despite dying early, was still the MVP because he put out so much damage with that C3. He was still the MVP. On to the final fight now. So for this one, slight difference, slight difference, um, mainly because Adon doesn't really have any kind of type advantage here. So that is the reason why I decided to kind of switch up the attacks a little bit. Um, leading with Gen, all I was really caring about here was making sure that Adon got off his C3 because I think we've demonstrated on multiple occasions now throughout these fights, his C3 is huge, does massive damage, lays down a huge fire blanket. I'm not even going to call it a carpet, it's just an absolute blanket that continues to do a lot of damage to the enemy, meaning that even just with one attack, there's a strong possibility that this guy could end up being the MVP in your battles. Um, so like I said already, I think he um, does himself a lot of favours in this trial. I really do think he shines quite a bit. Now again, he's done nothing but a couple of C3s at this point. Did he get MVP again? He did. He was MVP, I think, in every single fight. Absolutely fantastic. Great looking unit. Top marks. Absolute top marks. Both units look great. We will do the character breakdowns. Hopefully somebody watched these. I don't even know. But thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.